So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you a new method, a different way to turn into dragon form. Check this out. It looks even better. You actually look like a proper dragon with this one and it's much, much easier to do and achieve than doing the complete Eigen quest line where you have to defeat that big old dragon boss of Bale the Dread. Today we're getting to all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So look how cool this is. It's called the Rock Heart um, and it's actually quite easy to get. Now we also know, well you probably don't know, if you don't know there's another way to turn yourself into basically what a dragon is and it's by using a Priestess Heart. And what this does is, well, it turns the human frame into an ancient dragon that boosts dragon court uh, incantations. Now the rock heart turns the human frame, same thing, but boosts dragon communion incantations. So they're vastly different and they look vastly different too. Now I don't think I'm going to be able to switch into the priestess heart at the minute because I'm already in dragon form. But what I will say is... The Argon quest line, if you don't know what that is, and to get the Priestess Heart, I'll link it in the video description. But this will be a from start to finish a guide on how you get this Rock Heart uh, Dragon form. Well, consumable, but you can use indefinitely. The only way you can come out of this, though, by the way, people, if you do not know, is to die. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, you cannot use armor at the same time you're using this. Uh, you can't even equip it. We well, can equip it, but you can't even use it if you got armor applied. So you have to take your arm off to use either of these. Uh, but the rock heart is the one we're going to talk about today, guys. And I'll showcase you exactly how you get it. So first things first, you have to have access to... Um, that's well, basically this area here. So you have to defeat or get past uh, Castle Ensis, or you can, because this is the, the arena of where you fight Relena, Twin Moon Knight, who can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, so you have to actually beat her to progress to this new area here, where we go up to the Shadow Keep, which is where the first item is required to get this uh, Rock Heart Dragon form consumable. Now, if you haven't beat Relena and you can't beat her, there is a different way of doing this. You can use the boss skip fight, which is a route you take around and you end up down here. And I'll link the video to that in the video description. But if you have beaten uh, Relena and you've pushed on into this area here, which is, I cannot remember what this area is called. It's called, okay, so there's Skadu Altus, that's where this area is called. This massive area here. And then you want to push down to, you come to the Shadow Keep main gate. And then guys up to the main gate plaza. Now we're going to go to the boss room, uh, Rolando room, and we'll lead from here guys. So it's going to load right into here and I'll show you the exact path you do have to take. Now there is another boss you have to take out called the Golden Hippopotamus, which I've made a complete guide on. So Castle Ensis, this is where you'll fight Rolando, the Twin Moon Knight. When you take her out in this room, you push then on into the Skadu Altus, um, which is right here. And there's going to be a checkpoint. Or a grace point right there. So this is where you need to go. Uh, so this is the grace of um, the High Road Cross. And we're going to make our way down to the Shadow Keep area. Let's just go down here, people. Now there is one of those big old fiery caged enemies up there in the distance, which you have to run past. Who isn't... Well, he does hit quite hard, to be honest. I'm not going to lie, but he isn't too hard to get around. So you ain't got to worry about that. Watch this guy on the horse. He's probably a more of a pain in the ass. So when you come this way, you're probably going to get hit. There's quite a few enemies you have to run past, but again, just run past them. You haven't got to worry about anything. And from here, guys, I take a detour because I don't really want to run straight past him. Let's run this way because his fire attacks will literally knock you straight off your horse which is what you don't want. So yeah, just keep coming this way. Let's keep jumping. Every time you hear an attack, just jump. <laughs> just jump. So this way, this way, just like so. And then just dodge from here. Just dodge left and right because you're going to be getting shot by arrows. Just keep doing that just like that, guys. See what I mean? See what I mean? So now we're going to run up to that gate. Try and get out my horse. Okay. And keep coming this way. Now there is a lift here which you have to go up, so I'll call that. And I'll skip the video to save time. But there's the lever, just there. 
Okay, so the lift's here, so let's go up. To the very top. Looks cool though, doesn't it, people? You know that looks cool. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're almost at the top now. And this is where you'll fight the golden hippopotamus, which I've actually made an easy guide on to defeating this guy, which I'll also link in the video description with that Relena boss fight skip. Now, this will be the grace, your checkpoint for when you fight the golden hippo. And this is the room you're fighting in. So once you take him out, guys, obviously activate this grace. Okay, so yeah, the main gate plaza is the one you will unlock after defeating the golden hippo. From here, you want to take a hard left. Now, I just quit edit of the video, guys. I'm not going to lie. I just fell off and died. <laughs> uh, but oh, well. So yeah, come this way, guys. Up these stairs. And then you want to go up these again. Now, there's going to be enemies here. You will have to dodge out the way of. Or they're going to hit each other. Either or. Again, come up here, guys. And then you just want to take a sharp left, but be careful because there's a big guy right there. And watch that guy with the ball there because he hits pretty hard. And then just dodge it back there. There you go. Now when you're out here guys, you just want to follow this direction to a secret path. And I'm out of stamina. Okay, so we're going to go this way. And just go straight forward. Now there's going to be a few ads here that are going to try and whip your ass. Just like so. Don't worry about them. They won't kill you first time. So you should be good. And again guys, there's going to be a couple more ads here that do try and surprise you. But here you want to go down these stairs. So careful there and that stairs sorry I mean ladder and you send down these ladders just like that just like so and now guys we're gonna go behind this waterfall into here and take another ladder down now I don't want to read no message I want to descend thank you very much so keep coming to the bottom guys and this is where you grab a dragon painting so here guys is where you dra uh, get that dragon pain. Pretty cool. I've already examined it and picked it up, but you need this, so grab that. So from here guys, we need to go through the, well, the dragon pit, we need to end up here. The Jagged Peak Mountainside, which I'll show you complete route to. Um, now if you haven't first met Igon and you haven't got to the dragon pit at all, I'll show you exactly what I'll do. And you wanna go to the castle point grace point now i will put timestamps in the video description from every grace along the way just in case you have unlocked these graces so if you want to skip out all this this route you can be my guest so use them uh, timestamps so we what basically guys want to make our way to this pillar here there's a fork in the road there this is called the pillar path waypoint it's where we need to make our way to so jump on your stallion and come this way Daytime, I can actually see what I'm doing, nice. Okay, so you wanna guys, come up this way, don't go down, you wanna come up. There's so many different routes you can take this way. But yeah, ignore these guys too, and just keep coming people. Ignore this guy too, and keep coming people. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going up, just like this. I'm gonna pass these ads or jump over them if they get in your way, just like so. Okay, so now guys, we will end up right where we need to be. That fork in the road. Now there's a grace point literally just ahead there, which will be that pillar path grace point or waypoint even. So that's a, a one of the greatest points you'll come through. From here, guys, you want to go left, uh, right, so. And when you get here initially, you'll hear the screams of Igon. Now, he won't be here for me, but I'll play my old footage on screen now. Now, you want to talk to him and clear out his dialogue. Just do that. Then, guys, as you push on this way, you'll be invaded by the ancient dragon man. Here, again, you have to take him out. So once you take him out, you can then push onto the dragon pit, which is the direction we're going to right now. So just keep coming this way guys, it's quite a trek, but it's definitely worth it. This is a much, much easier way of getting Dragon Form, like I said, with a black heart. The Priestess Heart takes a pretty hefty quest. Um, so yeah. Okay, so you want to come down here, this is the Dragon Pit. Let me just put a bit of light on, and there we go. So come through here guys, and you want to make your way to the very, very bottom. Another grace point right there. This is the dragon pit grace point. Come down this way. And jump straight down here. 
Just like so. Whoa, I don't think so, mate. You're not quick enough. Say so you want to take a right here and come down. It's like a one linear route you can take. And that's a hard left. Be careful there. You almost fall off. Watch that guy in the bow. Watch this big guy here. And then you just want to dodge out of the way. Get down this way. And there you go. Now there's going to be another bow guy right in front of you. Just in that corner there. Which, and then guys, you want to turn back on yourself and come down this way. And come down here. Just like so. And now guys, you want to jump down into this darkness pit. Just like this. And there will be another boss fight here. It's going to be the second part of the uh, Ancient Dragon Man. Uh, which is quite easy, I'm not going to lie to you. But once you defeat him guys, you can push on and then open this door right in front of you. So that's what you need to do. So come through this way guys. And I'm pretty sure there is another grace. Um, just here, the Dragon Pit Terminus. Which is this one right here. So now guys, we can ride our horse and we will work all the way around to get up to where we need to be. The Jagged Peak Mountainside. So come this way. So from here, jump on your horse, you good old trusty stallion, and follow this path. Now there will be a few dragons in the way, but you can just simply just run past them. You haven't got to worry about anything. You ain't got to fight nothing from here on. Just got to grab this and you are good. So it's literally just a path. So here guys, we want to go slightly left. You can see up that gap there. That's where we need to go. And keep coming this way. Again, it's quite a trek, but like it's an easy one when you know where you're going. So I've just learned this off by art. I've literally ran here a couple of times. So yeah. I'm glad it's daytime as well because at night time this place is so hard to see. You can't see shiz. Okay, so guys. Grab any materials you see on the road. Don't be wasting them. You never know when you're going to need them. You never know when you're going to need them, people. Okay, so we're about a quarter of the way there now. Maybe half. <laughs> uh, let's go. Trying to see where I'm actually on the map. Yep, not too far away at all. So you want to go to this uh, booster. The spring booster or the spring I can't remember what these are called. I'll go to this and jump. Just like so. And now you want to cross this great bridge. Or this rope bridge. Great rope bridge. It's a long way down, people. It's a long way down. Okay, so now guys we are at the foot of the Jagged Peak. Now we're just going to make our way around to the Jagged Peak mountainside. Okay, so we're just going to go up here. Now there will be, well normally when you first come here, there's going to be a pair of dragons here. Now if you haven't done the Igon quest line or you're still progressing that, completely ignore them. Don't try and fight them. Don't take them out or nothing like that. Not until you, well if you're following a guide, you'll come to that part. But well, you're going to run straight past here. You want to straight up into this, well, these ruins here. And you'll see another spring jump. We're now in Jagged Peak. So from here, guys, boost up. Just like so. And again, boost up. Just like so. Now, guys, we want to make our way down here. Through this little cavern gap thing. So we are almost there now guys, so it's all good. Not too far to go at all. Here there are boulders that try and take you out, so be careful of that. You see one right there in the distance. As soon as you move it's going to come for you, so just dodge out the way. Do you guys remember the old school uh, boulder rune farm? <laughs> Make them fall off the map. It's going to be another one right there as well that comes for you. Let's get out of the way and you are good. Now guys, you want to go up this way, take this path. Just like so. And now guys, you want to actually run around this guy. You don't want to wake him up. Well, you can wake him up, but you don't want to fight him. Because he hits real hard. Yep, just run up here. As fast as you can. 
as fast as you can. If you hear his attack, start jumping, start dodging, start doing everything to get out of the way of him. Okay, so now we have a few of him. We ain't got to worry about that dude. And now we are almost where we need to be. Okay, cool. So there is the grace point. Again, this is the Dragon Peak Mountain side. And from here, guys, you want to turn back on yourself and head up this way right here. And there's going to be another uh, booster thing, which we want to use. And go further on up. Just like so. And then you want to follow this path down, but be careful here because you can fall off. Let's keep coming this way. And then when you see this rock that like, sticks out by itself, you want to get down here. So jump down carefully. When you turn back on yourself, you'll come to this spot right here. And this is where the magic happens. You'll see a chair appear here, guys. Once that chair appears, just stand next to it for about 5-10 seconds. And uh, you'll then see a ghostly figure appear on it. Once he vanishes, he will leave you this rock heart consumable, which gives you the second dragon form you can get in Elden Ring, Shadow of the Oak Tree. And there we have it guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring guides, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.